So what's an, an instant boost, but yet also something that you could do long-term that scientifically has been proven to make someone happier, even as a solution for, let's say, a mild depression. It's a very simple thing. A lot of us, when we go to bed, what we do is we lie there and we think about negative things, maybe even over the, about the fact that we're not sleeping yet. And so Martin Seligman at the University of Pennsylvania uh, developed this tool that has been tried and tested around the world with thousands of people to actually elevate your levels of happiness in the moment. It's about, in this case, it's about, about ending your day well. So you could reevaluate your day with everything that went bad. And, and like I said in the previous video, if you have a child who does an exam, even as a child, and you got nine questions right and one wrong, you focus on the one that is wrong. It's kind of windy over here. You focus on the one that went wrong. And can we lie awake at night thinking about that one wrong question? Even though we didn't fail the exam, and though we had nine right, you want to think about that one question that went wrong. What about focusing on what actually went right? and how you studied hard and how it was a difficult exam or whatever it is. So this is the three things exercise. And the last thing that you need to do before you go to sleep every single night is ask yourself, in essence, two questions. First question, what are three things that went well today? So what are three things that went well today? And then the second question is, why did it go well? Now, it's not a, a fleeting thought, a quick thought. No, you, you really need to sort of like spend maybe five minutes thinking about this or until you fall asleep. And so that particular exercise has proven to boost someone's happiness. If you do it over time, better yet, maybe even writing about it also in the morning or whatever. If you do that over time, um, then when what happens is, is that your focus in the world changes. The way that the, the things that your brain searches for starts to become about what went well and why. And you start to see patterns in your eyes, will, which will allow you to exercise the muscle to actually find out what truly makes you happy rather than what is maybe an extrinsic thing that you want to pursue that actually really truly doesn't increase your positive emotions, a sense of flow and engagement, positive relationship, meaning and purpose, achievement and accomplishment. And so uh, I do recommend you writing it. That maybe is a little bit hard when you want to go to sleep, uh, but you can also think about it and let that be your last thought. Do it long enough, you start creating things in your day that could be going well. And why? Because you see the patterns of your own why.